Ebu Betty K, Ebu Betty K, that is who you are. Ebu Betty K, Ebu Betty K, that is who you are. Ebu Betty K, Ebu Betty K, that is who you are. Ebu Betty K, Ebu Betty K, that is who you are. Sing it. Afternoon. You're welcome to day 16 of our fasting and prayer. And our theme for today is divine strength. I'm going to start by reading from Psalm 28, verse 7. It says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. I want us to lift up our voices wherever we are right now and begin to thank God for strength and begin to thank God for divine supply of strength, for strength in our mind, strength in our spirit, strength in our bodies, strength in every area of our life. I want us to just thank God for the strength that he supplies. Scripture says that except the Lord builds a house, the builders build in vain, and except the Lord watches over a house, it is in vain that they watch it. I just want us to thank God that we are standing by his strength by the strength that the Lord supplies Psalm 73 verse 26 says my flesh and my heart fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever I just want us to thank God for every time he has saved us and strengthened us in the times of our weaknesses in the times where we we thought we would fail in the times where we thought we could not go on the Lord came through for us and we were strengthened I just want us to lift up our voice and just say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for supplying strength to us. We give you praise. We exalt your holy name. I'm going to read Ephesians 6 verse 10. And it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And we are going to be praying and declaring this scripture over ourselves this afternoon. And saying, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong in the Lord. I am strong in the Lord. It is a declaration. I want you to prophesy over yourself. Lay your hands on yourself if you can. And begin to declare, I am strong in the Lord. I am made strong. Even as we wait upon the Lord. In this month of August, I am made strong in the name of Jesus. I am made strong. I am strong in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I am strong in the Lord. I am strong in my spirit. I am strong in my body. I am strong in my mind. I am strong in every aspect of my life. Everything I lay my hands on, the divine strength of the Lord shows it forth in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? this afternoon. I want you to declare that scripture over yourself that I am strong in the Lord and in, uh, and in the power of his might. In the name of Jesus, I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the name of Jesus, I am strong in the Lord. Hey, it's a prophecy this afternoon. It's a prophecy. Prophesy, prophesy that all for the rest of this year, hey, every day of my life, I am strong. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. We are going to be praying for Pastor Shola and Pastor Abby. We are going to be praying for every HOD leader, every worker, every member. And this is our prayer. I'm going to be reading from Isaiah 40 verse 31. Scripture says that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They will mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We are declaring over Pastor Shola and Pastor Abby that before, during, and after the conference, they are strengthened. In the name of Jesus, they are strengthened. Hey, that the Lord renews their strength moment by moment, day by day. Their strength is renewed like the eagle. In the name of Jesus, they run and they are not weary. They walk and they do not faint. I want you to declare same over every leader, every worker, every member. We are saying that we are strong. In the name of Jesus, we mount up with wings like eagles. We run and we are not weary. We walk and we do not faint. In the name of Jesus, our strength is renewed. Hey, as we do the running around, the planning, everything, as the plans are put in place, we are strong. We are made strong before, during, and after the conference. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are we praying today? Ah, that we are made strong. We are made strong in the mighty name of Jesus. There is none that is weak among us. Our strengths do not fail. Our strengths do not fail. Our strengths do not fail. But we go from strength to strength. Every man in Zion. We move from strength to strength. We move from strength to strength. We move from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Um, I'll read from Ephesians 3 verse 16 even as we pray for every guest minister that will be coming. It says that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. And this is our prayer that every guest, guest minister, their strength is renewed and restored before, during, and after the conference. In the name of Jesus, we pray for strength for them. Even as they prepare for the conference during the ministration, the strength to deliver the undiluted word of God, the strength to lead us and minister to us during the conference, even after the conference and as they return, their strength is restored. In the name of Jesus, for every guest minister, hey, in word and in music, in the name of Jesus, they are strong strengthened. They are strengthened. They are strengthened before, during and after the conference. In the name of Jesus, their strength is not small. Their strength is not small. In the name of Jesus, the Lord strengthens them in spirit, in mind, in body. In the name of Jesus, we pray strength over every guest minister, every word minister, every worship minister. In the name of Jesus, they are strengthened with might in their in a man. They are strengthened with might by his spirit in their inner man. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are still praying. We are still praying. I'm going to read from Luke chapter 22 um, verse 32. It says, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Today we are going to be asking God to restore the strength of Christians all over the world especially in these last days and particularly Christians that have been persecuted. I want us to pray, lift up our voices and just pray for our brothers and our sisters. Scripture says that in the last days iniquity we are bound and the love of many will grow cold. But we are praying for strength today that in the name of Jesus uh, across the world, uh, hey, our strength will not fail. Our faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus, we pray for grace, grace for belief us all around the world to stand firm in the Lord to not be deceived in the name of Jesus we are kept firm our feet is planted firm in the name of Jesus the grace to stay and the strength to stay rooted in the Lord we pray specially for those that have been persecuted the grace and the strength to go through in the name of Jesus the grace and the strength to go through their heart is strengthened they do not get discouraged. Uh, we pray for missionaries all over the world. Uh, they are strengthened. They are strengthened in the work that they do. In the name of Jesus. I want us to also in the same vein lift up everyone in strategic leadership positions across the globe as they make decisions uh, over every area that they are overseeing. They are strengthened. They are strengthened in their mind. They are strengthened to make decisions in accordance to the perfect will of
of the Father. In the name of Jesus, that through them, the purposes and the will of God will be established across the globe. In the name of Jesus, are you praying? Are you praying? Scripture says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for therein lies your peace. We are praying for strategic leaders across the globe as they make decisions. It is in accordance to the will of the Father. In the name of Jesus. Scripture says that the heart of kings are in the hands of the Lord and it directs it where he wills. We pray for the strength of will to make decisions in accordance to the will of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, that indeed uh, the purposes of God will be established. Uh, in the name of Jesus, just lift up your hands wherever you are. Just begin to thank God because we know that every time that we pray, the Lord hears us and he answers us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are have prayed. Um, please do not stop if you can. Continue praying. Continue praying. Um, when we pray, we make tremendous power available. Also, be reminded that tomorrow we'll be having our tribe fellowship. Ensure you go to one closest to you. And um, on Sunday, we'll be having our service. First service, 8 a.m. Second service, 9.30. And the last service by 11 a.m. Thank you once again. God bless you.